I've been working through something very painful lately, something that I've barely spoken about with anyone. Basically, just my nearest and dearest, and even with them, only sparingly. Because it's a mess, and I'm a mess about it. But I've finally gotten to a place where I have enough closure that I can make a video about it, so here goes. I was jealousy baited, not once, but twice. What is jealousy baiting? Basically, it's when another person uses the fact that they were intimate somehow with your partner as a weapon. They disclose it in terms and in ways that are designed to be hurtful, framing that contact with your partner as though it's a game or conquest, or that the fact that they were so easily able to have that intimacy with your partner means that they are better than you somehow. They brag about that interaction in ways that are targeted to provoke jealousy in you. Jealousy baiting is distinct from normal jealousy activation in that when someone is baiting you, jealousy is their goal. It's what they're trying to make you feel. It's actually been quite a rarity for me to have someone jealousy bait me. For the most part, any jealousy or insecurity I've felt has seemed incidental and not intended as an end result. But then within the same year, it happened twice. And even more distressingly, it came from two different individuals, which made it all the more psychologically damaging. I was worried I was being paranoid, but after checking in with third parties who knew everyone involved, the overwhelming consensus is that I was jealousy baited in both cases. Hard. That I was treated very cruelly and badly by people who had been intimate with my partner. In both instances, the partner whose intimacy was used instrumentally as a weapon was outraged, and they immediately adopted a position that was more supportive of me than I had expected them to. I had been prepared for the worst, for them to doubt my accounting of events or to explain them away, and I had expected them to attribute benign or benevolent motives to the people I suspected were jealousy baiting me. Tell me I was being dramatic or overreacting, and that these were simple cases of incidentally activated jealousy, not bad behavior by these other people. But that's not what happened. Instead, they believed my attributions and were outraged, which was a relief. So how did I deal with being jealousy baited? Well, both times my strategy was to survive in the moment socially and then escape. I laughed, changed the subject, and left when I could. It was important to me at the time not to react, not to give the jealousy baiter the response that they seemed to be going for. I didn't want to give them the satisfaction. And in doing so, in striving to prevent myself from reacting to the jealousy baiting, I shoved the painful feelings down so far inside that a while passed before I even told the partner in question because part of me just wanted to pretend it never happened, just to go on with my life. But both times, I told myself that if I were in my partner's shoes that I'd want to know. However, even as I told them about what had gone on, I found myself reigning in the true depth of how much I was hurt by what had happened. I tried to convince myself that it was no big deal and that I was over it already. It was months before I could finally confess to my partner I think I got more hurt and humiliated by them being mean than I let myself admit at the time. There was an awkward pause, one I found myself scrambling to fill. But that's okay, I continued, needing something to restore the imbalance I felt. Sometimes you feel the punch later, you know? It's vulnerable to admit, maybe, but being jealousy baited is the kind of moment that makes me feel stupid. It's the sort of thing that makes me feel like all the women who raised me were right. The women who told me over and over that a particularly socially isolating form of heterosexual monogamy was the only path that made any sense, and that deviating from that would be giving up any potential for security, stability. The women who told me that men were something you were supposed to trap and then use. The women who'd think I was dumb to live polyamorously, and who would consider all of my choices wrong. And in the aftermath of being jealousy baited, not once, but twice, I found myself struggling with those feelings. That I deserve this for being so damn stupid. That this is what you get when you trust other people and allow your partner's freedom, disrespect, pain, humiliation, everyone making a fool of you. That's what you get, said a smug, painful voice from my childhood. It was extra hurtful that both of these jealousy baiters were supposed to know better. They were polyamorous. I considered them friends before any of this happened. But looking back, I think I get why it happened and where they were coming from. Both of them were dealing with acute identity and existential crises, difficult life circumstances that probably left them hungry for a way to score points somehow, 
to puff up their chests and feel powerful for a few moments, even if it meant hurting me in the process. It doesn't make any of it right, of course, but I understand how it feels to be on a long free fall and to find yourself lashing out at random people, flailing as you descend, trying desperately to lay your hands on anything that can save you from a life-threatening crash landing. Jealousy baiting is not something I've heard many people talk about. In my own case, I haven't talked about it much before because it rarely happens to me. In spite of a long history of consensual non-monogamy, I'm happy to have not experienced very much jealousy baiting, to find it to be a relatively rare event until when it happened twice in the same year. And hopefully, this is a fluke. Anyway, I just want to let you know that if you have ever been jealousy baited, you're not alone. And you're not stupid for trusting people and letting them do their own thing. The reality is that the fact that you were jealousy baited likely has a lot more to do with what's going wrong in that other person's life than it has to do with you at all. This has been, if you've been jealousy baited, you're not alone, and you're not stupid for trusting people. For more information on polyamorous relationships and other topics, check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.